Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to the Pakora Man channel and welcome to Marrakesh. Today I have a very special tour for you all. I am at the nightly food market in Jamal Fina Square in Marrakesh. This place is the heartbeat of this vibrant city and today I'm going to dive into the culinary delights that are on offer. Uh, so this is the first stall we're going to attack. There seems to be a lot of local people sat here and there seems to be an egg butty stall. So in the sandwich, uh, first of all he's putting some cheese in. And he dropped in an egg, boiled egg. That was a, a boiled potato. Salt. And he's going to put some perisa in, which is a red chilli paste. And we've just asked him to put some onion in as well. Uh, I'm collecting my sandwich. If you look, it's onion, harissa with a red chilli paste, a uh, boiled egg, cheese, and potato uh, in a fresh bun. Give that a go. That's an upgrade on an egg butty, anyway. Fresh, tasty, and cheap and cheerful. Stall was full of local people. And the whole sandwich cost nine dirhams, which is approximately 70 p, 75 pence. These guys here are selling snail soup. If that's your thing, definitely not mine. Not getting me anywhere near those snails. We're at this fish stall, uh, so we've got some sole here and some swordfish, uh, also some chips, some tomato sauce, uh, and an aubergine salad, and some bread. Uh, and the fish just seems to be lightly battered in some flour and lightly seasoned with the chili on top. So first I'm trying this swordfish. Lovely and fresh, steaming hot. Oh. That fish is absolutely delicious. I'm going to dip that in the uh, tomato sauce. Some um, sole here with some lemon on top. And that's just flaking off, the bone just comes out. Fresh. Again, the fish is absolutely beautifully cooked. We we'll dip that in the tomato sauce again. Look, as long as the scales just pop out. Still got to watch yourself, make sure there's no bones, but that's beautiful. Another excellent mini meal there, uh, fish uh, with a bit of aubergine salad, a bit of tomato sauce, a bit of bread, uh, absolutely delicious, very fresh uh, and only uh, 50 dirhams for that uh, uh, whole meal. Um, again, very cheap and cheerful, but the fish was excellent. Always check the menu and prices before sitting down. I always sit on the stalls where the locals are eating. This square during the day looks nothing like it does now. Then about 4 p.m. every day, it starts to transform into this mesmerizing array of Moroccan cuisine. Next, I'm trying a Herrera soup, which is a staple of Moroccan cuisine. And it's served with something called shabakia, which is a little pastry uh, dipped in honey. Soup Herrera, Moroccan. Dates. That's it. You get served with dates Eggs. and shabakia and an egg if you want to as well. And the bread. So we're just going to have the soup with the shabakia. Uh, so this is the Herrera soup, uh, this is made from mainly tomatoes, you also get lentils and chickpeas in there uh, with fresh herbs and some spices in there. And this is the shabakia, the fried pastry. 
that's lovely and rich, very warming, lovely in flavour. I'm just going to add a little bit more cumin. A very hearty soup. And you can see the, the lentils and the chickpeas in there. I'm just going to try the shabakia now. So that is sweet, very sweet actually, and that's savoury, so that's the combination to go with here. I can see the attraction, that's delicious that is. And this is a revelation, this is absolutely delicious this. Another excellent dish that was a very hearty, warm, tasty soup with that shabakia, sweet but absolutely delicious. And the price, eight dirhams in total, that's 70p. Absolutely, if you're on a budget and a lot of people around here obviously wouldn't be able to afford full meals, that is outstanding. Thank you. And if you're thinking I've visited on a busy day, then it's like this every night. This place has a buzz about it, you can't fully explain. You have to experience it for yourself. Next, I'm at a tangier stove. Now, tangier is a slow cooked lamb dish uh, cooked in a clay pot for two to three hours in a very rich aromatic sauce. Can't wait. So, I've only ordered a small portion, uh, but this is lamb and it's cooked, like I said, in a clay pot. So, I'm just going to add a bit of cumin. Some of this bread, nice and hot. Yeah. Lamb is perfectly cooked, sauce rich, flavoursome. I'm going to try some of this sauce. I don't think it needs it, but we'll try some anyway. Sauce is the harissa sauce, but with this dish you don't necessarily need it. It's absolutely delicious on its own. That was an outstanding dish, and there is a must try if you're here in Marrakesh. If you have been to Marrakesh before, do let me know in the comments. If you ate one of these stalls, what was your favourite dish? Just stopped at uh, this grill stall, and these guys are grilling absolutely everything. Uh, there's meats, all sorts of meats, fish, vegetables, and we've ordered uh, a mixed skewer uh, of uh, meats. Um, just waiting for that to arrive. Just quickly show you around. He's got some chops on the go. I'm not sure if that's my order or not. I can't wait. We've also got these mini sausages, lots of mixed salads. Yeah. And we've got that looks like turkey and we've got some chicken, some lamb kebabs, and then some vegetables. So the fish has arrived again, lightly battered. Uh, not certain what fish it is, uh, but it looks like a fillet again, lightly battered. Oh. That's already flavoured with lemon, absolutely beautiful that. And dip in some harissa sauce. Such a beautiful combination. Lightly battered fish, very lightly seasoned. A lot of lemon on it already. I'm just dipped into that harissa sauce. Outstanding. Got another piece of fish, not sure what this one is either, but without taste. You can ask the name. Mm. For its own unique flavour. Uh, the grilled meats have just arrived as well. So we some mixed vegetable, lamb, beef and some chicken. Uh, these look like the lamb skewers. Oh. So soft. 
Not a lot of seasoning on it, so I'm going to dip it in the harissa sauce. Yeah, it doesn't make a big difference. Try some of this uh, veg as well. Well, they've done to that lamb but it's so soft absolutely beautiful move on to the chicken again very lightly seasoned but beautifully cooked definitely need some sauce on that and a pepper So that was a really good grill experience, uh, even though the actual uh, uh, grilled meats were very lightly seasoned, um, the harissa sauce uh, made a big difference but everything was beautifully cooked uh, and the fish actually was better than the actual fish stall that we had earlier on. I nearly forgot to mention the price, uh, it was 110 dirhams, uh, that was 40 for the fish portion and 70 for the grilled meat, so approximately uh, 10 pound for the meal, excellent value for money. And that's about it. I'm not sure I can manage any more food. That's been absolutely fantastic. There's so much more to see and eat. I've just hit the tip of the iceberg. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I know I did. The proof is in the tasting. So get your flight booked and come and sample the great food and the electric atmosphere this historical city has to offer. If you would like to be notified about future videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification below. Thanks for watching.